Hey folks, Larry Wingett here. You know what's standing between you and what you want? Now I know you want something. Everybody wants something. I want things in my life. You want some things in your life. Maybe you want a whole bunch of things in your life. That's fine. But you know what's standing between you and what you want out of life? You and what you aren't willing to do. That's really what it comes down to. It comes down to what you are not willing to do. Now that's good, by the way. You must know what you are willing to do and what you are not willing to do. There's just a whole lot of stuff I'm never going to have in life because I'm not willing to do what it takes to get it. Do you know what you are not willing to do? Or are you one of those idiots that sits back and say, I'd do anything in the world to, give that, to have that? No, you wouldn't. Why are you saying that? You wouldn't give anything in the world to have that. See, the problem is too many people do give anything in the world. In fact, they give everything in the world. They give up their health, they give up their sanity, they give up their time, they give up their family, they give up all this stuff. I know there are some things I'm never going to sacrifice. There are some things I'm not willing to give up. I love that saying, I wouldn't do that for love nor money. Oh, bull. We do everything in this world for love or money. That's what it comes down to. But see, I love my free time. So there's a whole lot of my free time I'm not willing to give up in order to have some of the things that I could have had in life if I was willing to not have a life. You hear what I just said? There's a whole lot more I could have had in life, except I really wanted a life. And so you've got to decide what you are willing to do and what you are unwilling to do. In fact, make a list. There's some things you should never compromise on. You shouldn't compromise your family in order to just have more stuff or to buy another car or to have a bunch of crap you don't need. You shouldn't sacrifice your health either. You shouldn't sacrifice your free time and your sanity. You sh you, you've got to know what you aren't willing to give up, but you also know what you have to know what you are willing to give up. You see, the only thing standing between you and what you want is you and what you aren't willing to do. Know what you aren't willing to do. Know what you are willing to do. And operate from those two lists. I guarantee you'll be a lot more successful. Spend some time on this one. This is a thinker. This is one that requires some paper and a pen. Makes you want to figure out your priorities and what really matters to you in life. Let me tell you what matters. Your health matters. You're no good for anybody if you're sick. You're no good for your family. You can't do your job. You can't serve others well. You can't add value if you're sick. Your health matters. Do what it takes to be healthy. Let me tell you what else matters. The commitments you've made. You agreed when you got married you'd take care of her. You agreed whether you said it out loud or not. When you had kids, you'd do whatever it took to take care of those kids. You owe it to your boss, to your employer, to your customers to give them your very best every single day. That's what you owe them. That's part of the deal. And besides that, you said you'd do it. That's what really matters. Get those things right. Everything else pretty much fall in place.